My name is Angus Winchester. I am the global ambassador for the House of Tanqueray. I'm a bartender of 23 years experience and I am obsessive about my dry martinis. So today I'm going to make you a martini, my perfect martini. I say make, I'm actually going to throw my martini today. So the first thing we do is obviously get a great martini glass, a cocktail glass. This one's a little bit big, so if I don't fill it up at the end, don't be too surprised, I haven't screwed up. Chilling it down so the drink is as cold as possible. Then I'm going to get a nice mixing glass filled with ice. It's chilling down beforehand. Temperature and dilution, as well as perfect ingredients, are key to this. Then I'm going to get a great gin. A fantastic gin. Tanqueray number 10, one of only two spirits that actually sits in the San Francisco Spirits Hall of Fame. After 30 years, to have a white spirit in there is incredible. I'm going to measure, because measurement is important. And I'm going to put 50 milliliters of Tanqueray number 10 into the ice. I'm then going to put ooh, 50, about 12 and a half milliliters of Noirly Pratt French dry vermouth. This makes it say four to one, four parts gin to one part vermouth. I'm then using my mixing glass, gonna put a measure on the top, and I'm gonna use a technique that was developed in Spain in a bar called Boedas in Barcelona. And what happens there, to give the drink a velvety quality, to aerate it as if you were shaking it, but to control the dilution, which is difficult if you're shaking because you get little chips of ice breaking off, they throw it. You get another mixing glass, and then you pour it from one to the other. Start to see the bubbles in there. That will give it the velvety smooth quality. The more confident you get, the longer your throws can become. You just do this backwards and forwards, pouring it back on the ice to chill it down, and then pouring it again. Look at those bubbles forming. As I say, this gives it that smoothness, that aeration that you're looking for, but just controls temperature and dilution. Now, of course, to check that it's exactly right, I'm going to do a technique called birding, where you just get the straw, put it in, have a small amount in it. Ooh, that's pretty good. Needs a little bit more work to it, though. So then we're going to pour it back, get rid of our ice. We can always reuse this. Shake out any excess water. So the glass is now perfectly chilled. Strain the drink in carefully so that no flecks of ice into it. Finally, we're going to garnish it. Now, I've chosen to use a lemon twist today, but it's the oils I want, not the bit of lemon. So spray a little bit over the top that's there, but then I'm going to wipe it round the rims, the underneath of the glass, so that the lovely aroma of citrus, to replicate the wonderful citrus that's used within Tanqueray 10, perfumes the whole glass and gives you that aroma even till you've finished it. So here we have a Tanqueray 10 4 to 1 throne martini. Compliments of me, all for you. Cheers.